Tornado touched down at approximately 7.30 p.m. Monday evening. Now, the National Weather Services says it lasted for about five minutes. Residents tell me they were totally blindsided by this tornado. Trees uprooted, cars damaged, roofs blown off. Donald Ellis says he's lived in Wayland for 20 years and has never seen anything like this. The storm ripped off a part of the roof on his barn. This tornado came through packing a punch. It was so noisy. The wind was so strong. I never even heard this tree fall. The National Weather Service classified the twister as an EF1, which means it had winds up to 90 miles an hour. Donald says he was worried the pine tree in front of his home would go down and was keeping an eye on it as it swayed back and forth. And I'm going, that ain't going to stay there. It's gonna go, It's got to go. Because most generally pine trees aren't rooted very much and they just flop right over if they have a big storm. But I'm surprised it didn't go over. But it just hit certain ways. I don't know. I mean, it took fire to my roof off. Mark Pellerito, the warning coordination meteorologist for the National Weather Services out of Binghamton, says the storm dropped a tornado just to the northwest of Wayland. It took about a two-mile path through town and ended up dissipating southeast of Wayland. Until today, it was not clear if the damage was caused by a tornado, but the survey team came out and confirmed it with evidence left behind. When we do conduct these surveys, sometimes it's straight line winds, sometimes it's a tornado. Whether it's going in a circle or going in a straight line uh, doesn't matter as much as the speed. If it's 90 miles per hour in a straight line or in a circle like a tornado, it's going to sound like a freight train and it's going to cause a lot of damage. Joel Stilson says he drove an hour to check on his friend Gail, who lives here on Buffalo Street next door to Donnell. Her home was hit hard by the tornado, the front yard covered in a sea of fallen trees. She said a uh, tornado came down off the hillside and was blowing her furniture all around and uh, it wiped out all the trees in her yard. Thank goodness residents I spoke with say no one got hurt.